So today's notes, we're just going to continue looking at word problems. So the steps or the process at the top of the page is not anything different. And since we're looking at only two word problems, we're going to graph them on the calculator to get an idea of what they look like. So number one, the flight of a baseball that has been hit when it was four feet off the ground is modeled by the function h equals negative 16t squared plus 75t plus 4. In the form y equals, that would be y equals negative 16x squared plus 75x plus 4. So your height, okay, the h, your height is y, and then it says where height is, or where h is the height of the baseball in feet after t seconds. In t, so time is t, which is your x. So if you were to sketch it, remember we're only in quadrant one. Here's our x, here's our y. From the equation, can you tell me what the y-intercept is? So the y-intercept is 4, so up 1, 2, 3, 4. We'll put a dot. It's negative, so it's right side up or upside down? Upside down, so the ball gets hit, it goes up, and then it's going to hit here. So this was our time, and this is the height. We're in feet, and we are in seconds. Notice how this question doesn't say to solve algebraically. So you could sketch a picture like I'm sketching, and you can answer the question. How long will it take before the ball lands on the ground? Where does the ball land? I want you on your paper, put a big dot or star it. Where are you looking at when you answer the question? How long will it take before the ball lands on the ground? Sarah? The x-intercept, so right here. This is the x-intercept that when we get it algebraically, what do we do to it? This is the zero that is rejected because it's negative. We can't have a negative time, okay? And you don't need to write this. This is just our note page. So we're looking for this. So we're looking for a root or a zero. How long is a root? How do you solve for a root or the x-intercept with a quadratic equation? Okay? How do I find a root? So any method factoring quadratic formula or completing the square works because right here, all right, we're looking for where is x when y is zero. So that's a root. So looking at the equation, 0 equals negative 16 um, x squared plus 75 x plus 4. Which method would you like to use? Would you like to complete the square? Would you like to use quadratic formula? Or would you like to factor? So using the quadratic formula as our method, we have an a value of what? Negative 16, a b value of, and c value of 4. So x equals negative b. So it's going to be negative 75 plus or minus 75 squared minus, that's b squared, 4ac all over 2 times negative 16. So why don't you find the number underneath your radical? What is the number underneath the radical? 75 squared minus 4 times negative 16 times 4. So x equals negative 75 plus or minus. What's the number that you get under the symbol? We're missing a form, a parenthesis. Sarah, what'd you get? 
Yes. Now, this question says, rounding to the nearest hundredth, how long will it take for the ball um, before the ball lands and hits the ground? So, rounding to the nearest hundredth, this is 5881. Eight, you have two solutions here, remember. One is with the plus sign, so it's negative 75 plus the square root of 5,881 over negative 32, and the other one is with the minus. So the other solution is negative 75 minus the square root of 5,881 all over negative 32. Can anyone tell just by looking at it which root is going to be rejected because it's negative? The green or the blue? Yeah. Green. Green. The blue or the green? Which one? I think it's blue. I think it's green. Well, this one is a negative plus a positive. Is this number larger than 75? Yeah, so this will end up being positive over negative, which is going to give us a negative answer. So we'll have to reject that one. Did anyone get the answer on the calculator? Negative point, Sarah? Um, no? Let's look at that on the calculator. We have the square root of 5881. That's being added to a negative 75. Then divide by negative 32. This is what we get for a decimal. To the nearest tenth, what would that be? The tenth, I can't write on the board, is where the zero is. And since to the right of the zero is a five, it's going to be negative point one. And I'm sorry, did it say hundredth? It didn't. Hundredth would be the five, so it would be negative point zero five or zero six? Zero five, yeah. So it's approximately, so I'm going to switch that to an approximation symbol, negative point zero five, which we reject. What about this approximation to the nearest uh, hundredth? Game? Uh, 4 .8, or no, 4 .7. Seven, we need one more for hundredth. Four. Four, good. So the answer, so this root right here, so x is approximately 4.74. Let's go to the graph to see, I asked you to type it in. Here's the equation. If I hit graph, I can't see where it comes down. I can't even see the highest point on the curve, so we're going to have to adjust our axes. What should I adjust the x max to be? Right now it's at 4. What should I change it to? Okay, time would be good, but we know it's going to intersect at about 4.74. So let's do 5. 5 is good. And then what do you think the maximum height's going to be of the ball? How high do you think this ball went? How many feet was the question? It was the height. Any baseball players in here? Michelle? So at adjusting the screen or the window settings so that we can see it, you can actually see that it crosses at 1, 2, 3, 4, just under 5 on the x-axis. So you can see that we're right. Okay? So the answer to this question, the question said, um, how long will it take? So it's approximately, well, I don't want to write it. I need to write it in words. So about 4.74. What's the unit? seconds. So in this question here we have our height compared to distance with the equation h equals negative d squared plus 10d plus 5. So it's upside down because the negative it has an intercept of 5. So here are two players we want to find what the distance between the two. Um, we're looking at how far horizontally from a player passing will it land on the ground. So we're solving for D or solving for X. So right here, again, what is the X value when Y is zero? So it's zero equals negative X squared plus 10X 
plus 5. Which method would you like to use? Complete the square? What do we have to do before we com can complete the square? Yeah, we want this x squared to be positive. So if I add everything, add it over, well not add everything, so I have to subtract 10, I subtract 5, but if I move everything over, it becomes a positive x squared. That positive 10x becomes negative 10x. The positive 5 becomes negative 5 equals 0. So complete the square. So we leave that alone. We move the c term over and add the box. So x squared minus 10x. I need a volunteer to raise their hand. What is the box? Yeah. Elijah? No? When you, what might, yeah, what might help is if you start to factor, it is a 25. When it goes in parentheses is half of negative 10, which is a negative 5. So it would be x minus 5 squared. And then negative 5 squared is 25. And on the right side, we get 30. Once we have it written as a square, then what do we do to both sides? Find the square, or take the square root, find the square root. So take the square root that now gets rid of the parentheses. We have x minus 5 equals, since it's an equation, whatever you do one side, you have to do the other. And then I'm missing one thing here, which is what? Yeah, Gabe? Plus or minus. So I finish by adding the 5 over. And we have x equals 5 plus or minus radical 30. So one solution is 5 plus the square root of 30. The other solution is 5 minus radical 30. So 5 plus radical 30. And do 5 minus. This time we're going to round to the nearest tenth, I believe it says. Which one do we reject? Yep, so 5 minus is about 0.5, negative 0.5, which we're going to reject. And this one was approximately what? Going back to the calculator, 10.5. So to answer the question, how far? It's about 10 and a half. What's our unit of measurement? Feet. So let's finish today by graphing this and seeing if a, we get the same thing graphically. So negative, let's clear that, negative x squared plus 10x plus 5. Graph. Let's see if we need to change our settings. I do. It's not going over far enough. So go to your window and what do you want to change the x max to? We look, it looks like we about saw the whole thing. So it's starting to flatten out here. So we should change it to, anyone have an idea? 20 might be too far. Um, you can change it to 15. Um, it looked like it was starting to hit the peak or vertex at 5, so I was thinking 10. And here we know it's going to be about 10 and a half. So if you count over, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and a half is right there. I know you're right.